There's a ski line 20 miles southeast of the metropolis of Elko, Nevada. It's called Terminal Cancer, and it is a straight, stony line carved right through the middle of a hillside in the Ruby Mountains. Today, we'll be starting from the road at around 7,500 feet, crossing the stream, and climbing 2,000 feet through the barrel of a gun. Avalanches from above and the side are always a concern, and my plan in case of an avalanche is to grab Kristoff and use him as a human shield to block myself from the debris. The ski line is 263 miles away by car, but the thought of driving makes Matt's mind go numb, so he's offered to fly us there in his red whirly bird. raining which isn't great it's also dark and those things together make helicopter flying very dangerous but even if we have to wait for the rain to pass flying this helicopter to our shot today will be a lot easier than driving maybe not e easier for me because I won't be driving I offered to drive let that be noted but when Matt counter offered to fly of course you're gonna take gonna take him up on it. Who out there wouldn't take a helicopter ride over a drive in a car? But right now we're encountering two things you don't want when flying a helicopter, and that's cold rain and darkness. So we're gonna wait for both of these things to pass before we take off. We are headed to a ski line called Terminal Cancer, me, Matt, and Kristoff. And it should be a good line. Hard to tell what condition it's in or what the avalanche conditions are. There's a lot of unknowns when it comes to skiing something this remote and this far away. We're just gonna load up the helicopter here at uh, the hangar, and then as soon as this rain clears and then it gets a little bit light, we're gonna take off. landed the helicopter here just above the apron that leads into terminal cancer. I gotta say, I feel like an elitist snob taking the chopper, bypassing the rock strewn apron that would surely destroy our uh, skis and just getting started right at the good stuff. From here on out, it'll just be a cool boot up the couloir and then probably a half decent descent back down. It's not fresh snow, it's a little bony out here. But hey, it's a cool place and it's a cool shot. So that's more than enough. We did jump the queue a little bit. We've got some people hiking up and uh, I guess now they know they should probably only come here by helicopter. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. We had an awesome flight this morning. We're skiing terminal cancer out here in the Ruby Mountains in Nevada. I mean, Nevada's known for this dry desert, empty wasteland between like Salt Lake City and California, but for us, it's like a dream come true. It's gonna be awesome. I guess this is one of the, you know, classic ski lines that uh, I've been meaning to come check out for years and years and years, and just for one reason or another, just have never made it. Once again, I'm experiencing something on the bucket list in a way that I never thought I would ever do it, and that is uh, by a heli assist to the entrance of terminal cancer. So this should be, Pretty fun day. A little bit of a check the box, but check the box on something pretty cool.
about 500 feet up terminal cancer. Matt and Chris uh, have these things on their feet called verts, which assist in this type of situation, keeps you from sinking in the snow. I do not have verts. I am a vertless man. And so I punch through a little bit more. If nothing else, it's making me stronger than them. But I do envy those verts. Uh, we have a group behind us and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't suffering from some kind of line cutting guilt, but hopefully they're cool. I guess the consolation prize is the snow kind of sucks. So no one's getting fresh tracks on Blower Pal. It's a breakable crust for sure. It's gonna be a crusty shoot to come down. We made it to the top, terminal cancer. Wasn't that bad of a booter, but we did get a two prop assist past the gnarly part. But we booted all the way up this. And even though the snow isn't glorious, I don't think it'll be the worst snow we've skied on. And considering the location, the whole package is pretty sweet. But we're just gonna remove our skins and then trip, slide, and stumble past this small amount of rock at the top and ski terminal cancer. And we'll take our time, not because we want to thoroughly absorb the experience, but because the snow is going to be difficult to ski and make our legs very tired. I don't know if it's just the excitement of skiing a cool line like this, or I actually ate a decent breakfast, but I'm feeling good. I was a little melancholy at the start of the day, and as soon as we got between these walls, man, my adventure bone started to tingle off the chart. So, pretty excited. I'm kind of optimistic this is gonna ski well. It's kind of that chalky, dense, but not, uh, I didn't feel any crusty ice, which is my nemesis. So Matt's uh, put on his unicorn horn, which means that he is ready to go. All this does, this is a probe that senses temperature, uh, density, altitude, moisture in the air, and uh, dew point temperature. And right now everything is reading like it's time to go. On something like this, it's so far out there, so far out of the way, in the middle of Nevada. It's super dry desert country, but you get this unique kind of shot down in here and all the snow blows and fills it in and you know, 5,000 feet above us, um, there's less snow, so it's actually pretty cool. There's lots of moss and these browns and reds and yellows. I mean, it's just gonna be fun. I, it, that thing could be an ice sheet, you know, I'd have fun the whole way down. It's not about the quality of snow, it's actually just about the visual uh, appeal of it all. Can you imagine how pissed Danny would have been if he would have driven nine hours to ski that <laughs> snow? He would have been so mad. He would have wasted all of his wife coupons to ski for the worst snow. I called it. This was a 100% visual adventure. All right, that's Terminal Cancer, a short shot. I don't know if Kristoff's gonna tell you 
the snow was as dreamy as he thought it was, but I felt like watching them through the screen of the drone while I was flying that it didn't look as nice as he had hoped. I think we have two out of the three things that you would want to have if you came and skied this, and that is safe avalanche conditions, good weather. The only thing to throw on top of that would be deep powder. So Terminal Cancer was definitely cool. Cool shot, short, it skied uh, less than stellar. Did not quite live up to my optimism today, but still good enough, good enough to call it an awesome day in the mountains, skiing a uh, classic Kular. All my dreams are coming true, checking uh, wish, you know, wish list items off in the most um, jet setting fashion or helicopter setting fashion uh, that I can do.